EA Sports just dropped a patch for Madden 24. I wanted to cover the patch notes with you guys. We're going to be testing the patch all day long. If you are members of our Patreon, just make sure that you're checking because we will also be updating ebooks as needed. Uh, we always update the ebooks for our Patreon members. So if you're not in the Patreon, you not only get access to all the ebooks, but you also get access to all of the updates to the ebooks or any new ebooks that we drop. We just dropped a brand new offense yesterday in the Patreon. So if you want to be a member, it's only 10 bucks. The link's going to be down in the description below. It's a great way to get better at Madden. My opinion, the best way to get better at Madden is through uh, ebooks and updates to those ebooks and all that stuff to kind of help you understand how to play offense, how to play defense at a really high level. Now we're talking today about the gridiron notes. This is on EA's website. I'll link this in the description. But uh, today they are focusing on a title update number four. Gridiron Notes is a consistent place to find the latest information and updates straight from our development team. A couple things I want to just kind of hit on here. They did release yesterday that they are going to be dropping Kurt Warner, who gets set feet lead, I think, for 4 AP and Hot Route Master for 3 AP. The reason that is significant is on offense, we have a total of 7 AP, and most players have been using Gift Wrapped for 1 AP because without Gift Wrapped, you would drop wide open passes. In the, the major change that we're seeing here in the Madden 24 Gridiron Note update is <clears throat> this right here, two big issues. So um, defense has been a massive issue in Madden since October 4th, the last title update. And in the last title update, they basically patched pretty much every single blitz in the game and made it darn near impossible to consistently get pressure um, in Madden 24. That's why most people are going to 4-3, even 6-1 or dollar, because those are really the only formations, maybe 3-3, three, three, that have consistent blitzes. Now, we have some stuff in the Patreon that can help you if you want to learn how to play defense more effectively. The Patreon shows you the best way to do it. But the biggest thing that has also been a massive problem, and we've seen this on Twitter a lot, is dropped interceptions. Dropped interceptions have been a significant issue pretty much every year in Madden. It's a legacy issue. And we see here the first thing they say is a tuning to lower the ratings threshold for catching interceptions on the competitive game style to decrease the number of dropped interceptions. This applies to open catches since physical contact with the player can still cause the ball to be knocked out. Hopefully what this means is they fix drop picks. Now, Pick Artist was kind of the fix for this last year. They basically gave everybody Pick Artist for zero AP. And while that did help, Pick Artist this year is not really that effective. You drop a lot of interceptions. So hopefully this is a significant, significant change. And I think if, if they can fix dropped interceptions, it will. It's a, it's a kind of forced multiplier change that will massively, massively increase the quality of Madden 24. So this very well could be the one thing they do all year that will save Madden 24 from dying a terrible death um, because of how offensive this game is. If you can consistently catch an interception whenever your opponent makes a mistake, I'm all for that. I think that that's a very obvious thing and literally can overnight make this game much, much more balanced um, because you won't be able to just get away with throwing anything. And also with bringing set feet lead into the game, offense just got another significant boost uh, because set feet lead is probably the most broken ability, has been the most broken ability, especially on next gen, because you can throw the ball into so much tighter windows than you can without it. It's going to make cover four, the cover four drop meta uh, significantly less effective. It's probably going to make the double maybe it makes zone in general uh, much, much less effective. So uh, hopefully uh, dropped interceptions will cease to exist after this patch. The next thing is, and this is really important as well, as I talked about the gift draft, is they fixed an issue causing undesired catch drops when the quarterback would get hit during or shortly after throwing the ball. In our September title update, we included a fix to decrease the chance for defenders to catch the ball quickly after a quarterback passed out of a hit. But that fix had the unintended result of decreasing the chance to catch passes during or after a quarterback hit globally. Kind of interesting. And honestly, this is if you didn't realize, like if you're a Madden player and you want to play like realistic football, at the end of the day, we do play a video game. And this is a great example of that. Like they were trying to patch D-line interceptions and somehow they patched the ability to catch the ball globally in the entire game. So uh, hopefully this is a significant fix because in response, they are backing that change out of the game to return catch chances to their previous values. This is important. This will temporarily reintroduce situations 
that will allow pass rushers to sometimes catch the ball when the quarterback throws out of a hit. But we plan to refine that logic in another update. Now, to be fair to EA, I actually appreciate that they're saying this is going to be an issue, but we're going to fix it. The problem that I still have with this is I honestly, this is just my opinion, I don't mind D-line interceptions once in a while. I just don't like them every single time. But the other thing is we're not playing a blitz meta. And so the, the chances of D-line picks to me are going to be significantly reduced that they were last year. And also they're talking about fixing this in an updated um, or another update. Probably, I would assume, sometime either in two weeks or four weeks. They, the way they've dropped patches in Madden 24, it's kind of been one patch a month, uh, which is fine. But uh, it is kind of funny, though, that this, you know, they're basically reverting um, back to what we were playing before because their patch didn't work. So they've got to undo it and then they've got to redo it a better way. Kind of funny how that works out. But we are playing a video game at the end of the day. D-line picks are back. But the big thing about this is hopefully what happens is you will be able to uh, catch open passes. You won't need gift wrapped anymore to catch the ball. That is, uh, that is my big hope, um, and uh, if that's true, that means Kurt Warner with four AP set feet lead and three AP high rep master is your entire AP on offense, and will literally make it so that you can have set feet lead hot rep master, the two by far best abilities uh, in Madden, in my opinion. The next stuff is kind of bug stuff uh, for the most part. I did want to touch on this here in just a second, but fix an issue causing the crow flat defender to align to the wrong side of the field. This is not just a 3-4 odd issue. This is an issue in a lot of defensive formations. So I would like to see if that, um, I'm going to be testing if they fix that across the board. This uh, safeties and cornerbacks having flipped assignments when covering three tight ends, very much so a big issue. I would say in general, the general man coverage assignments against pro personnel um, or, you know, when, whenever you have, you know, multiple tight ends, whether it be ace personnel, two tight ends or three tight ends or, a tight end and a running back, two running backs, any kind of personnel like that, a little bit heavier offensive sets. There's always issues with alignment and man coverage. So I, I would really like to see this. They didn't say anything here about RPOs, which is still a big issue to me. I'm shocked that there's nothing in here about RPOs. Um, increase the size of the passing accuracy meter. This right here, um, oh, the fumble chance when diving. I'm not, I, I, okay, cool. I didn't really notice that being an issue. Um, Increasing the size of the passing accuracy meter. They're trying to force you to freeform pass. My hope with this is I don't mind freeform passing as long as it works. So hopefully with increasing the size of the passing accuracy meter, um, it's going to make freeform much, much better. Okay. They also added a new feature, which I didn't realize until like a couple of weeks ago, that you can do placement and accuracy, or you can also do placement and power. So um, you can kind of mess around with that as you will. A lot of pro players, a lot of really just anyone that knows what they're doing in Madden, they uh, have definitely significantly reduced their free form settings. So like Madden 23, kind of the meta all year long was near 20 out of 20. And Madden 24, the meta so far in terms of free form settings has been like near 7 out of 20, 5 out of 20, 3 out of 20, 1 out of 20, uh, significantly reducing it. So anyways, uh, fix an issue. Sometimes allowing unblocked defenders when using block and release routes. Yes, this is an actual big issue. And if they fix this, um, eligible receivers with a block and release assignment will not go out into their route until they have at least made contact with the blitzing defender that they are targeting. This blocker will stay in the engagement for a very short period of time and then release on his route. If this actually occurs, 5 wide becomes very much so usable because the only reason 5 wide is not one of the best offenses every single year is due to its ineffectiveness at picking up pressure. Well, in Madden 24, you can't blitz. So not only can you not blitz, right? And if you do blitz, you've got to send 5 or 6 to get pressure. If you have those, a lot of the 5 wide formations have block and release routes from their slots or from their tight end or their running back out in the out in the um, kind of like chip chip blocking type thing. If this actually occurs, I might be in five wide because five wide is really hard to defend as it is. And then when you throw in the fact that you can now chip blitzes long enough to be able to hit quick routes, five wide's pretty good. I think five wide could very well be um, is is definitely a usable offense this year because of the lack of blitzing. Rest of the deal, um, 
Franchise mode, not too concerned with that. Madden Ultimate Team. Let me see if there's anything to talk about here. Not really a big anything here to me that's like super big. They're just fixing basic bugs. Um, yeah, no, nothing really to cover here. Authenticity, I was really worried about this. They fixed a lot of authenticity issues. Um, issue with injured starting presentation issues. UI. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So uh, did EA save Madden 24? Is this patch going to make Madden 24 better? Let me know in the comments, and we'll be testing this patch all day long. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to take your Madden game to the next level, join the Patreon. That's where you get all of our full schemes, offensive, defensive schemes, ebooks, everything for just 10 bucks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys over at the Patreon. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.